ओम नमो भगवते श्री राम कृष्ण Arise awake onward I only tell you this that whoever reads this letter will imbibe my spirit have faith onward Swami Vivekananda letters of Swami Vivekananda letter number 78 return to Swami Ramakrishnananda ji USA 1895 my dear shashi yesterday i received a letter from you in which there was a smattering of news but nothing in detail I am much better now. Through the grace of the Lord, I am proof against the severe cold for this year. Oh, the terrible cold! But these people keep all down through scientific knowledge. Every house has its cellular underground, in which there is a big boiler, whence steam is made to course day and night through every room. This keeps all the rooms warm. but it has one defect that while it is summer indoors it is 30 to 40 degrees below zero outside most of the rich people of this country make for europe during the winter which is comparatively warm now let me give you some instructions this letter is meant for you please go through these instructions once a day and act up to them I have got Sharada's letter. He is doing good work, but now we want organization. To him, brother Tarak and others, please give my special love and blessings. The reason why I give you these few instructions is that there is an organizing power in you. The Lord has made this known to me, but it is not at fully developed through his blessings it will soon be that you never lose your center of gravity is an evidence of this but it must be both intensive and extensive point number 1 all the shastras hold that the threefold misery that there is in this world is not natural hence it is removable Two, in the Buddha incarnation, the Lord says that the root of the adhi bhutika misery, our misery arising from other terrestrial beings, is the formation of classes, jati. In other words, every form of class distinction, whether based on birth, our acquirements, our wealth. is at the bottom of the misery in the atman there is no distinction of sex or varna or ashrama footnote varnas the four principal castes namely brahmana kshatriya vaishya and shudra ashramas the four orders of life namely brahmacharya garhastya vanaprastha and sanyasa In the Atman, there is no distinction of sex, or varna, or ashrama, or anything of the kind. And as mud cannot be washed away by mud, it is likewise impossible to bring about oneness by mud. It is likewise impossible to bring about oneness by means of separate ideas. Point number three: In the Krishna incarnation. he says that the root of all sorts of misery is avidya ne science and that selfless work purify <coughs> and that selfless work purifies the mind but kim karma kim akarmeti kim karma kim akarmeti even sages are bewildered to decide what is work and what is not work gita point number 4 only that kind of work which develops our spirituality is work whatever fosters materiality is no work point number 5 therefore work and no work must be regulated by a person's aptitude his country and his age 6 work such as sacrifices were suited to the olden times but are not for the modern times 
from the date that the Ramakrishna incarnation was born has sprung the Satya Yuga, Golden Age. 8. In this incarnation, atheistic idea will be destroyed by the sword of Nana knowledge and the whole world will be unified by means of bhakti, devotion and prema, divine love. Moreover, in this incarnation, rajas of the desire for name and fame, etc. is altogether absent. In other words, blessed is he who acts up to his teachings, whether he accepts him or not does not matter. 9. The founders of different sects in the ancient or modern times have not been in the wrong. They have done well, but they must do better, well, better, best. 10. Therefore, we must take all up where they are. That is, we must lead them on to higher and higher ideals without upsetting their own chosen attitude. As to social conditions, those that prevail now are good, but they shall be better, best. 11. There is no chance for the welfare of the world unless the condition of women is improved. It is not possible for a bird to fly on only one wing. 12. Hence, in the Ramakrishna incarnation, the acceptance of a woman as the Guru, hence his practicing in the woman's garb and frame of mind. Footnote. For some time, Sri Ramakrishna dressed himself as a woman and practiced sadhana conceiving himself to be a woman to get rid of the sex idea. Hence, to his preaching the motherhood of women as representations of the Divine Mother. 13. Hence, it is that my first endeavor is to start a mutt for women. This mutt shall be the origin of Gargis and Maitreyas and women of even higher attainments than these. 14. No great work can be achieved by humbug. It is through love, a passion for truth and tremendous energy that all undertakings are accomplished. Tat kurupaurusham. Therefore, manifest your manhood. 15. There is no need for quarrel or dispute with anybody. Give your message and leave others to their own thoughts. Satya meva jayate nandritam. <coughs> Truth alone triumphs, not falsehood. Tada kim vivadena. Why then fight? Combine seriousness with childlike naivety. Live in harmony with all. Give up all ideas of egoism and entertain no sectarian views. Useless wrangling is a great sin to be continued. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat Sri Ram Krishna Arpanamastu